What is going on everybody? Welcome back. MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. Samsung Galaxy A54. This is Samsung's mid-range device. I've had it for the past four months and I want to share with you guys my thoughts and what I've experienced since using this and spoiler alert, this is much better than its predecessor, the Galaxy A53. So starting things off with design, I like it. Why? Because it's really, it's reminiscent of the Galaxy S23. They take, they've taken a lot of cues uh, from the design of the S23 and brought it down and made the A54 much more minimal. I like it. Um, and it feels very premium in the hand. Obviously it's not using the same uh, material as the Galaxy S23, but nonetheless still feels, gives that premium uh, feel in the hand. Display wise, it's not like Quad HD or anything. Uh, it's a full HD 120 Hertz AMOLED display and with Samsung displays, they're very good. Like you, you won't have any issues uh, watching content on the Galaxy A54. It's a 6.4 inch display and max a thousand nits with vision booster. It's not like 1750ness like the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Uh, it's, it's visible outdoors. Can it get uh, can it get uh, brighter? Yeah, it can, but for the time being, you know, it gets the job done. Uh, now, that being said, watching content on here, playing games like Call of Duty on the Galaxy A54, it's great because it has that Samsung AMOLED panel. Now, it is a little bit thicker, but you get used to it, um, so that's not a problem at all. Overall, like, I just like the design and feel. Now, let's head into the software. So Samsung Galaxy A54, the software is great, but I'm still kind of torn about the decision of why they decided to go with a Exynos 1380. I mean, if they went with a Snapdragon 7 Gen 2, I think this would have been a much better decision. Nonetheless, six gigs of RAM in my model, 120 gigs of storage. If you go with like an international model, they have an eight gigabyte RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage variant. But here in the US, they don't. That's okay. But the Exynos 1380, why, why? Now I'm asking this because the predecessor A53 had like the 1280 and that was really, in my experience, it was really, really bad. Like it was really jittery. It was not buttery. It was the opposite of buttery smooth. Now with this, it feels much better and much smoother than its predecessor, but there is still that slight lag and hiccup. And I feel like that is because of the Exynos 1380. I don't want to do any comparisons, but like we saw what the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy that they put in their S23 lineup and their foldables the Z series uh, that it's been optimized very well. I wish they went with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 uh, Gen 2 chipset. Maybe that would have been optimized much better with the Galaxy A54. And we're hearing rumors that they're gonna bring back the Exynos chip with the S24. Please don't do that, just please. Anyway, other than that, for those who need extra storage here in the US especially, it has a micro SD card slot so you can expand uh, your storage. Two. One UI is my favorite like custom OEM that I've come to love. If you guys know Samsung's past with like TouchWiz UI, it was really like, had a lot of bloatware and just act way too many features that, yeah, they were cool, but I feel like they were unnecessary, especially at the time. But they've done much better with One UI and you can expect to get One UI 6 or Android 14. So One UI 6 on top of Android 14. It will come to the Galaxy A54. And as of recording this video, we are on literally like the brink of One UI beta, One UI 6 beta, Android 14 coming out for the Galaxy S23 series. So we can expect it soon for the A54. And if you wanna see content on that, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel and for more Samsung content. And because of that, we're also getting four years of software updates. So technically we're getting Android 14, 15, 16, and Android 17 with the Galaxy A53. And I, you can't go wrong with uh, four years of software updates. Samsung, you're doing a really good job in the software department. Keep it up. Uh, I hope next year they give it a much better chipset and, and like kind of ditch Exynos. Just my opinion and what I've experienced. But other than that, everything has been 
Good. That's going to lead me into the cameras. So we're getting three, uh, three cameras right here, a 15 megapixel primary, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a five megapixel F2.4 macro. Now I'll tell you this, it's, it's decent. Like in, when you get the right amount of light, it takes some pretty good photos and 50 megapixels for the main camera. Uh, it's less than its predecessor, 64 megapixels, but guys, numbers don't tell the full story. And in fact, Samsung's 50 megapixel shooters that we've seen uh, on the S series over the last couple of years, they've been pretty good and they produce slightly better results than the uh, 64 megapixel that was past used in the Galaxy A53. So uh, day to day shots and you'll be seeing it on screen. You get some really good results, uh, but it's not gonna be like flagship quality. Uh, granted, I don't think anyone's gonna go and pick up this device for the cameras. If you do, I'd recommend picking up like the S23. Nonetheless, it's, it's still a decent camera for what you're paying for. That's gonna lead me into the battery department. So the battery life, charging and all that stuff. 5,000 milliamp hour battery, it's very good. 25 watts wired charging. It doesn't have wireless charging and it has great battery life. It lasts over a day, seven hours of screen on time. Absolutely love this. Samsung's been really doing good in the battery department too. I remember even just last year, they would suffer in the battery department, but this year they've done a great job, whether it be their flagship lineup, the S23 Ultra or the Galaxy A54. And I will be testing out the Z Flip 5 to see how the battery life is on there as well. I, I just like it. I can really recommend Samsung devices by adding battery to that recommendation. So keep it up, Samsung. Uh, the fact that it doesn't have wireless charging doesn't really bug me too much, but 25 watt of wire charging, they can up that up to at least like 30 watts. Uh, and I'm gonna end things off with the price. So retail, it's priced at 450 in the US. And I think it's a great price in my opinion. Granted 450, 550, 650, like the price, they're not cheap. Phones are not cheap. I mean, if you compare this to like a flagship, yes, 450 is cheaper, but that's still a hefty amount of money. Uh, but nonetheless, I still think for what you're getting, it's pretty decent. Uh, for the price and you'll be able to find it on sale as well. So definitely be sure to check out my links in the description down below as well as following uh, my community tab because I will be putting up discounts and also sales of devices like these that do go on sale. But overall, my overall thoughts about this four months later, it's been holding up very good. And I still would recommend it for those who are in uh, the mid-range market, who are looking for a mid-range device, especially if you're here in the US. So you do have options like the iPhone SE 2022, but I mean, priced at 430 with an outdated design and doesn't have the greatest battery life. I don't know if you would want to go with that over the A54. Then there's like the Pixel a 7a that's like 499. Uh, and at that point, like, why am I getting the 7a? Just pay an extra hundred and get the Pixel 7. Uh, and Pixel 8 is right around the corner anyway, too. So there's there's some some uh, competition here in the U.S. There's definitely more in international markets. Uh, but I overall would recommend this in the mid-range uh, market, especially if you're here in the U.S. at this like 400 to 500 uh, price range. So yeah, that's been it from the, for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you want to see more Samsung content like this, definitely be sure to superman the like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video uh, because it does help out the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more people. Definitely be sure to subscribe. Definitely be sure to check out uh, my merch because this video and some of my other videos, they're sponsored by me. I have a lot of merchandise. I have uh, desk mats. I have coffee mugs, I have pillows, I have sweatshirts, sweaters, t-shirts, you name it, we got it. Uh, and all of those do help the channel immensely. And also uh, my digital uh, site, I have a lot of wallpaper packs and my latest one right here on the A54 is Jello. But I also have uh, templates that I made for Notion that I use myself specifically for the channel and for the business. I have a social media content planner template as well as a 
Ultimate Finance Tracker template. I'll be leaving links of all those in the description down below. Uh, but that's been it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.